you can find lots of free resources. You can find a tutorial on just about anything on YouTube and poking around the internet, you can find and connect with just about anybody. It might not be easy, but it's doable. A 17 year old girl has interviewed me twice for her podcast. And the celebrities that she's had on her show, the amount and the names are staggering. And this girl is just, she has chutzpah. She has gotten 100% of her guests from either tweeting at them, messaging them on Instagram, just like talking to people at her school and like six degrees of separation. She does not come from a showbiz family. Her mom pretty much doesn't know what she's doing in her bedroom most of the time. <laughs> And, um, and I am amazed at what she has accomplished. In fact, she managed to interview, there's a, a TikToker who sadly committed suicide a couple mm. weeks ago and is a big, huge news story. He was a very successful TikToker. She had the last on-camera oh, interview wow. with him before he died, the, the, the night before he died. And so... She had posted it. She's very quick with her production and all. She posted it on YouTube and on the podcast platforms. The next day, she was being contacted by CNN and TMZ. It was crazy. She ended up getting all these followers on Instagram and all of her social channels just because she had interviewed this, this boy. It's a sad and tragic situation, but that's an example of she was prepared and she knows pop culture very well she and this tiktoker he was famous before he committed suicide but that's not really something that anybody could have figured into their plan she had this gem of an opportunity because she was such a good journalist and curious and she she's worked on her channel since she was 15 so for two years of her life, she's really put in the time and research and whatever. There's no reason why anybody can't do that. If you don't need to ask people, and I mean, you can ask people for favors and then they can evaluate whether or not they want to help you. But she just made me chuckle, but also I admire her very much for the way she would just, just boldly message anyone. And she says she was not deterred at all by some of the snarky comments that she got back. Oh yeah, sometimes people say like, you're crazy or why would I want to be on your show? Like you're nobody, blah, blah, blah. Or they'll ignore you. Yeah, or they just ignore her, <laughs> but she is undeterred. It's just like, okay, move on to the next one. Or yeah. she'll, she'll return at, back to them. But and ask them another time and she'll keep at it, but in a different way, she doesn't get discouraged or I'm sure she does get discouraged, but she doesn't yeah. let that stop her from, from doing her show. I think just being tenacious like that. And also she's offering somebody a wonderful opportunity. Like maybe not every person who she approaches will want to be on the podcast, but there are quite a few people in the world who pay publicists a lot of yeah. money per month to get those kinds of opportunities.